Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I thought it would be fun to hop on here with absolutely no makeup on and have you guys get ready with me. I feel like I haven't done like a really casual style get ready with me in a while. So, and I have actually just one new product. Oh, two new products that I kind of want to try out today. So I thought it'd be fun to try them on camera and just get ready. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just, we're gonna go run a couple errands and that's it but I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys. So I'm not gonna like try to make this a super long tutorial um, and I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Combo Control um, Primer. It's kind of like a milky looking primer. I actually used this all last summer when I was pregnant because I had such bad redness in my skin. Um, so it's really good for combo to oily skin. It's a little, it's kind of a little bit slippery, but it feels really good on the skin. And i um, just been slapping it on for those days where you want a little bit something before you put on any kind of base. Okay, so for foundation, I'm actually going in with the Lancome Skin Feels Good. This is their hydrating skin tint. I haven't tried it yet. And I'm in the shade, I think I'm in the shade, nude vanilla so um i've heard it's like just really lightweight and is it a pump oh it is a pump yes yes um yeah i've heard it's just really lightweight just kind of like a skin tint so let's see i haven't even used it yet come on Okay, finally, five minutes later. Um, yeah, I just heard it's really nice. So I'm just gonna kind of dot it all over. I'm not really sure if I should use my fingertips or I think I will. I'm just gonna go in with, oh, it's really like lightweight. Oh, this might be a little too light for me. Oh, I really like this. I like doing it in my viewfinder. Yeah, it's a little light for me. This might be my winter shade. <laughs> it is a little light for me uh, for my summer shade, but that's okay. Um, what I'll probably do next time, I'm going to go in with a little bit more around my cheeks and my nose. Um, just to build it up. Oh, it does build really well. It feels really, like, satiny, but, like your skin it feels so good guys this feels really nice a dried down like so it's not tacky it's not sticky feeling it's like feels like nothing and it doesn't give me too much coverage but it like evened everything out it's a little light but um next time I use this I'm gonna add a little bit of my drunk elephant um, like debronze um, and we're gonna try that out with it because I feel like it's a tad light but that's okay we're just going with a lot of bronzer today okay for my under eyes I'm gonna go in with the Mac prep and prime in radiant rose just a little bit of that to give me a little bit of brightness um, and I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender to blend it out of my mirror over here I like the worst setup today sorry guys and then I'm gonna go in with Tarte Shape Tape um, so I wanted to ask you guys who is shopping the Nordstrom sale this week um, I will be of course I do my video every year and it will be coming and I'm actually gonna try to get it up like super early um, I'm not a level four member, so I don't get to, I think level four members get to shop the day before, um, early access starts, but I will go in on early access and I'm going to do a bunch of try-ons, buy a bunch of goodies. Okay. 
I'm going to put a little bit of my Urban Decay Primer Potion for my eyes. I'm not going to go in with too much shadow, but I always like to put this on. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Bronzer. It's usually just so pretty. I have to really blend it though, I think. This foundation's just too light. Pop a little bit of NARS Luster on my cheeks. For highlight, I've been kind of mixing these two. Um, I have the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlight. And then I've also been doing, I've been trying to finish out my little hourglass pan. So I'm using that kind of bronzy shade as a highlight as well. And it's really pretty, um, the combo of both of them. Really pretty for summer. Okay, for my eyes, I've been going back into my Naked palette, and I've just been taking Smog and just kind of buffing it all over my lid. This is really hard to do without a mirror. I should probably use a mirror. And then I'm just going to take a little extra and just kind of smudge it on the bottom. And then just to soften edges, I'm going to take the shade Naked on a big fluffy brush and just kind of go along the edges. Then I'm going to take the shade, I think, Virgin and go over my brow bones and the inner corners. Kind of lighten that up a little. Brows, I keep it super simple on the daily. I'm just using the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. Love this stuff, it's so easy to use. And got the hair there. It's so quick and easy. And then just set it with some brow gel. For liner, I'm going to use the A Cosmetic Superhero Liner. I've been loving this. I'm just going to make a little wing. For mascara today, we are going to try a new mascara um, that I just hauled in my last video. If you already saw it, you know what it is. Um, but I am going to go in with my lash primer first. I just feel like this helps any mascara, even if it's a bad one, look a little better. Okay, so for my mascara, I'm using the Essence Lash Princess. This is the Sculpted Volume Mascara. Um, I actually pulled out the wand. I haven't used it yet, though. Um, it has, like, kind of like a curved wand, which I loved the Dior Over Curl Mascara, which has this kind of wand. So we're going to try it out and see how it goes.
So I have to say, I really like it. I think this is a layering mascara for sure. One that can easily be layered with. I can't talk and do mascara. Um, but first impression. Yeah, I really like this. It actually is a very, like the formula really does remind me of the It Cosmetic Superhero mascara, which I have been using. Um, and the same thing bothers me with this mascara, with this mascara, is it kind of gets a little clumpy, a little too clumpy for me. Um, but don't pay a bunch of money when you can get this for like $4.99. The formula is really good. Now I want to see how it lasts throughout the day, um, if it flakes away at all. But I am going to go in with just a little bit of my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, uh, just to kind of give a little bit of separation. But overall, that mascara is really good. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of gloss. Um, I'm not going to go in with a whole lip today. I usually don't, to be honest. I usually just put on a little lip gloss or lip balm and I'm out the door. Um, so this is Buxom in Creamsicle. And it's like a really pretty corally pink color. And a little dupe too, if you love the shade of the Buxom and Creamsicle, the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Maple Blondie, uh, they're identical. Now the formula is different because this Buxom one has that like tingling plumping effect. Um, this one's just really buttery and creamy on the lips, which I actually prefer. So I would rather actually just have this one, um, but they're the exact same color. It's kind of crazy. So just a little dupe there for it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick get ready with me. And let me know if you're shopping the Nordstrom sale down below. I'm really curious if you guys are excited as I am because I'm so excited. And if you are shopping the sale and you want to follow along with me because I'm going to be doing a ton of try-ons, like I said, and just going crazy with the Nordstrom sale, um, definitely follow me on Instagram and Insta stories. And also you guys know, I will post a video here of what I get. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.